you can keep eating, but I just want to tell you what we're going to do is we're going to show a segment from um, the Homeland Security USA shows, the opening credits, and then one of the storylines from one of the episodes to kind of show you what it's about. And it, um, how long is it? It's like seven, eight minutes? No, no, no. <laughs> Okay, okay, so less than four minutes, and, uh, and then I'll introduce uh, Mr. Shapiro. So uh, if you can turn the lights down some. People still need to see their food, but um, okay, thank you. United States, with entry points at hundreds of airports, harbors, and along a border of more than 100,000 miles, is protected by the Department of Homeland Security, including the Transportation Security Administration, the U.S. Coast Guard, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, and Customs and Border Protection, including the Border Patrol. This is Homeland Security USA. Arizona. The Air and Marine Interdiction Team routinely flies support missions with the Border Patrol, searching the rugged Sonoran Desert, a hot spot for illegal immigrants crossing the border. The darkness provides cover for the illegal immigrants, who often wait until night to make their move. For the Black Hawk crew, this only increases the dangers and challenges to find them. Their first call, 12 illegals spotted in the desert. Hey, John, the ground, you got two more behind the big tree to your right, 90 degrees right. The first call ends with the swift apprehension of 12 illegal immigrants. But the Black Hawk crew receives multiple reports of illegal immigrants on the move. In the Silver Bell area, I have an agent with a bailout. Yeah, uh, Omaha, you're flying right over top of me. I've got two agents on the ground following eight. Oh, man. I need a copy, Charlie, see what? Go ahead. Yes, yeah, so we got Charlie Six on the ground. They're waiting on a possible 46 backpackers. Hey, agent working with Omaha. Uh, we've got the uh, group left side of the helicopter in the uh, spotlight. There's still one last call to respond to, one that catches everybody by surprise. Yeah, they keep coming up, guys. I think we got more. Yeah, we just arriving on the scene. They find agents chasing more than 60 illegal immigrants scattering in all directions. Their eyes in the skies become even more critical for this pursuit. Go left, go left, four. He's up the trees. He's up the backpack. There's one guy laying down. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I got a couple more here. Oh, shoot, we got a group right down here. Yeah, right. The trees are going together right here. There's a whole group. No, oh, he's got them. He's picking those up. Okay. He's picking those up. Jeez. Sounds like the desert's coming alive tonight. Yes, it does. And this may take a while. Tonight started pretty quick. I mean, right when we got out the gate, there was a call for an assist. We went there and we got those first 12 illegal aliens crossing. And right on the tail end of that, we rounded up those same number, 12. And on the tail end of that, we got another call. We ended up with 19. And we were thinking about wrapping up the evening right about then. And there's another call from another GSR. And it turned out to be about 75 people we rounded up. So in the course of four and a half hours, we got 120, 130 people. The, um, in his 30-year uh, more than 30-year career uh, in uh, television. Arnold Shapiro has won uh, an Oscar and Emmys and dozens of other awards and has been the producer of Scared Straight, which a lot of you may remember from, uh, what was that, 30 years ago? Uh, not to date anybody, but it was a long time ago. I saw the clip of you getting the Oscar, and like many of us, you had more hair 
back then, and darker, too. Uh, and I actually look at my own videos from C-SPAN, which is now all online from 1995 and 6, and I'm, who is that young man? But anyway, um, Arnold has been in this TV business for more than 30 years, not just scared straight, but rescue 9-11 or 9 I'm not sure how you said that. Big Brother, this series, uh, uh, the summer series, and dozens of other TV series and TV movies and documentaries. Homeland Security USA, which we just saw a snip from, was a 2009 series of 13 one-hour um, episodes that were behind-the-scenes explorations of the work of Homeland Security in different parts. This was the Border Patrol, but also the um, Coast Guard, uh, the, I believe it was the Detention and Removals Office of ICE, uh, the inspectors at the ports of entry and the airports, stuff you just don't usually see. Sometimes, actually, you'll see Border Patrol stuff, but a lot of... There was one episode about um, interviewing uh, some suspected child smugglers at JFK and, the, and the, the little girl herself, as well as the people pretending to be her parents. I mean, I thought that was, that's the kind of stuff nobody ever sees, and that's the kind of stuff you really have to see to know how this kind of thing works. Um, now, Arnold himself has first to admit that it's not investigative journalism. I think you told The Hollywood Reporter that, and that's in fact correct. But it is a kind of explanatory journalism, explaining, because it's dramatic, obviously, with the music and the editing and the voiceovers, but it's not dramatized. There's no actors. This isn't like, um, you know, some, they have these series and, I, and uh, in the History Channel, you know, they have these people battling and the soldiers fighting, and it's like, well, I didn't know they had TV cameras at the Battle of Waterloo, you know? <laughs> um, let alone uh, in, you know, the accompanying the Roman legions. This isn't like that. These are the actual people. I mean, this is actually what's going on, and I think it's extraordinarily important for people to actually see this kind of thing in action in order to make sensible decisions about uh, policy. Um, the uh, Katz Award, just for those of you who aren't familiar, is named after Eugene Katz, who was a board member of ours for many years and was actually involved in journalism. After um, Dartmouth, he was a reporter briefly for the Daily Oklahoman and then joined the family business, which was on the business side of journalism, um, mostly radio stations and selling radio ads. But for many years, he was in that uh, business. And we named the ad, the, the award after him to honor him for his long service uh, on the center's board. And he's passed away a number of years now, so it honors his memory as well. So, um, without much further ado, I want to recognize Arnold Shapiro as the recipient of the 2010 Eugene Katz Award for coverage of immigration. And he's going to uh, come up, say a few words, and also show another clip uh, of the show. So, Arnold, if you could come on up. Let me uh, give you the actual token of the award for your desk. Still camera here, any place? There we are. Oh, there you go. That's uh, did you get that, John? That's uh, <laughs> is it working? There it is. Okay, very good. Thank you, Arnold. And uh, thank you. Go ahead. Very 21st century. Mm -hmm. 